listeners. Emails. Bombcast at giantbomb.com. Here's the email address. You can send your emails into if you want to email us and hear us read your emails during the email segment here on the Giant Bombcast. I think I misunderstood this whole segment. Emails. This whole time. I'm in space. <laughs> the eShop update is out this month. If that helps. Is it? It's supposed to be out in May. It's supposed to be out in late May. Oh, God. That's coming up. You're right. I'm going to say that uh, will get me to turn my 3DS on, on again, so <laughs> I'm excited about that. They're supposed to be sending us a copy of Dead or Alive for 3DS pretty soon here, which I suspect I will that. be the thing that gets me to turn that 3DS back on. Very good. And say, yep, she kicks high still. <laughs> Enjoy that. First email comes in from Brian Awis in Cape Coral, Florida. Hey, Bombcast, if you had to run a fruit farm, what kind of fruit would you grow? Don't worry about taking into consideration weather, temperature, or soil type. Vinny Caravella. Is he making a game? Is this, is this a pitch for a game? I don't want to be a fruit farmer. So Vinny opts out. Vinny says no to your Facebook invite to play fruit farmer. <laughs> yeah. With him. I like it. Is this spam? What, what is this? Who sent this to me? Yeah. Do you know you sent this to me? <laughs> did you, did you know you clicked here, okay for this thing? And then, oh, no. Oh, no. Now, I'm sending, now I'm sending fruit farmer spam to all my friends on Facebook. I got to put up apologies. I don't want Jeff. I don't know Oranges. I mean. Oranges. Oranges. <laughs> Oranges are good. Yeah. My town has oranges, so if you if you have, pe- I want to get some peaches though. <laughs> How many bells? Just, just come and I'll give you some oranges. Gosh. You give me some peaches, like like I don't want to try bread shoemaker. Does it that. have to be fruit? That's yes. a weird stipulation. It does say fruit we, farm. We had a subject di- line: fruit farm. Okay, we had a discussion last week about whether avocado was a fruit or not. Yes, it is. Uh, then avocado. All right. Just bathe in guacamole all the time. Oh, bananas. I want. Yeah. I want to grow bananas. Uh, okay. You can't raise. No, that has to be a plantation. What are you talking? about? you said you, you can't have a banana farm. What are the stipulations again? You have a banana plantation. If you have to run a fruit farm, it says. Uh, I mean, all it says is fruit farm. Yeah. Doesn't care where or how. Fruit farm. But again, it can't be a farm. It's a plantation. What if it's smaller? No. Why not? No. What if we'll it's part just the of, way it is? You could, you could grow. I saw a Chiquita to go display filled filled with the most old looking bruised up bananas in the world yeah. at the gas station. That probably over came the from my farm. Oh, you don't want no gas station banana. Uh, and uh, I, yeah, I, no, I wasn't talking to any of you about the Chiquita to go stuff. So this is this is my get Patrick in here. This is my farm. What about, about Chiquita to go? Talking about bananas. Talking about like your banana just container. Talk to, just talk to John Drake about bananas. <laughs> Vinny's bananas. And they're crazy. About bananas. What was your fruit? Uh, apples. Apples. You know, versatile fruit. Yeah. It's good. All you can do with an apple. Boring. Exactly. It's not boring. Boring. You're a fruit monger. It's good. Uh, well, here's the problem. Okay, so I actually had to... I played this game as a child at one point. Really? When we were uh, uh, deciding to plant an orchard on the property that I, I grew up on. And we're like, okay, we're going to get all these different fucking crazy kinds of, of trees. We're going to get, like, these Japanese pear trees and all these, like, kind of custom, like, crazy grafted, uh, uh, like, types of uh, uh, apples and berries and stuff. Brayburns and Fujis and all sorts of good shit. Uh, and uh, I got to have some input on, like, what sort of trees were on. I'm like, I, I want to have a pomegranate tree. Wow. <laughs> you were ahead of the time. And I was, because I was way into pomegranates. Yeah. And I thought they were awesome and weird and tasted good. Uh, but that tree fucking sucked and <laughs> barely produced fruit. And so, uh, you know, by trying to go very, sp- like, specific and weird yeah, and, just apple. and unique, I'm like... Guess what I ended up eating most of out of that goddamn orchard was fucking apples. It's regular ass apples. Well, apples at least you can you can rent out, you know, apple picking and stuff like that. So that's a pretty good investment. People love picking apples. Do they? Only apples though. No one's gonna want to come and pick uh, Jeff's shitty oranges. I think my have, oranges aren't shitty. I think you have to pay people They're to like, pick nah, oranges. Oranges. It's really like apples. They'll pay you. Oranges. You have to pay people to yeah. pick those oranges. All right, what about like, other, oh, we had a delight, delightful what about, okay. weekend picking apples. So, <laughs> yeah. what right. about, you're, you're crazy. What, what about, do you okay. do for a living? I pick oranges. What about bananas? Bananas? Yeah. They're crazy. Can, no, no. I mean, can like, can you, can I pay you to pick your bananas? Go banana picking? Yeah. It's a Craigslist ad. <laughs> can I pay you to pick I, your bananas? I'm looking for someone to pay. Stuff, <laughs> 
misconnections. I think bananas are tough to pick, right? Like, you've got to get up, up that tree and shake them out. I, I look at you, Brad, because I didn't think uh, for some reason. You, you have to train monkeys, I think, to pick bananas. How cool is my plantation going to be? Or Kurt Cameron. It's not a plantation, it's a farm. It's, it's a nature's wonder fruit. Top five fruits, go. Apples and oranges, it's kiwis. Oh, and really? Kiwi. Do you like a kiwi? Yeah, kiwis, kiwis are tough to eat. I really like a kiwi. Oh, kiwis are good. Well, because you can't eat the skin. Yeah, you can. Wait, can you? Yeah. yeah really? You, totally can. you eat you the can. fuzzy skin? Yeah, you can kind of defuzz it. It's a little weird. I mean, it's kind of like eating a peach. And they're hairier than Oh, I like a good peach. Peaches are good. Yeah. I like a nectarine. I like a plum. I like grapes. Mm. Plums are good. Yeah, grapes. Grapes, are, good. grapes are, yeah. My wife really likes strawberries, but I'm not so... You know what blew my mind? I mean, that. well, you already kind of talked about it, but when I moved out here, the fact that everybody has fruit trees. Yeah. Like, even if you don't want them, which I'm guessing you probably don't. I have don't. a pear tree that I don't want at all. <laughs> I've, got like, I've got like five fruit trees in my backyard. I would love to have a different fruit tree because I would love to have apples. But, but I fucking hate pears. <laughs> so, of course, it's oh, a pear tree. Oh, I love tree. pears. Pears are my top you five come for sure. pay me to pick my pears... <laughs> I'm not whatever. If you want the pears for free, <laughs> do you guys like? Do you have to take care of the tree at all? You you probably ought to. I mean, in terms of like you know, have to fertilize it or like you, you, prune it. You or, probably ought to. to like yeah. the, like you will. Rotten the fruit that fruit my trees and... puts out sucks because oh, really? I do not fertilize. Yeah. I do not oh. like have like irrigation for water or anything. Like they just get what they can and they grow and they produce some fruit, but it's not like the, the premium like really okay. excellent fruit that so it could just, be. you just expose that tree to the elements, you're not going to get much out of it. But if you let the... I mean, you're going to get a bunch of fruit. You're just going to get a bunch of so shitty it's fruit. It's not going to be great. Yeah. But it's probably bad news if the rotten fruit just collects on the bottom of the tree, right? That's very bad news yeah. Yeah. as it, it turns out. It smells real bad. Yeah, it yep. starts to smell a little weird and, and get you get hard, some hard to walk yeah, around out there. A lot of bugs. So I, that gets taken care of now, and I'm, I'm not, it's not—it's no longer a problem. But okay. the first year I had that house, fuck man, it was a nightmare. <laughs> just mushy, just rotten fruit, just everywhere. And it's yeah. like, but there's some cement back there, and it's not lawn. It's like uh, you know wood chips and crap like that. So it sort of sucks. Um, and the, the whole surface was just like—it's disguised dirt. Yeah, it's disguised dirt, definitely. Uh, just composting in the. In the sun, just I mean, yeah. it's like you know, there's a, there's a ton of raccoons around there too. So yeah. raccoons would be getting in there, yep, yep. and just charge them the pick your pears. Yeah, <laughs> if they would get it off the tree, get it before it was rotting, they could they could have it. I don't For care. Free? But yeah, the, yeah. The, the raccoons all live in the storm drain in front of my house, so <laughs> they have a little a TV. Special. No, I've I've, yeah. I've, I've <laughs> seen them crawling in and out of storm drains around that area. That's that's absolutely where they hang out. They have names. I threw an ice cream sandwich into one a couple days ago. No, thanks. You know, just to keep them distracted. <laughs> yeah. Be like, all right, you don't have to leave. It was, it was. A, I mean, it was <laughs> a cra- them. Yeah, just like, just stay down there. <laughs> it was a really crappy ice cream sandwich. And I was like, I don't want this. So it was kind of like a diss. It was like passive aggressive. Like, yeah. Oh, here's this here's great, this great, great ice cream sandwich. sandwich, raccoons. Oh, oh, this sucks. Yeah, take it, you fuck faces. <laughs> oh, fuck you. More M80s to come. <laughs> Uh, next email comes in from Kyle in Seattle. Uh, hey, bomb crew. I- 